touching news, go home and hug your mother and your family, AMSR's father. AMSR's father broke down in tears on Monday at an Islamic prayer ceremony for his daughter who was allegedly raped her and murdered as she walked home after a night out in Melbourne last week. Hundreds of Muslims, many of whom didn't know the 21-year-old exchange student, attended the Albanian Islamic Centre Mosque in Dandenong at sunset to pay their respects. While men came together in prayer, women in a side room washed, powdered and wrapped Ms. Masar's body before it is repatriated to Israel for an Islamic burial. Speaking to reporters at the ceremony, Ms. Masar shattered father Saeed said he prayed for every student to be able to get home safely and hug their parents. I can talk from the depth of my heart, the depth of my pain, he said. I pray for all the student, all the child, everyone can go safely everywhere and can go home to hug his mother and his father and his family. This is what we want to see, to see the world with more peace. More safety and more smile and more forgive each other and more accept each other. I talk in my voice, but this is Aya's mind. He then thanked the Muslim community for supporting him at the ceremony. I am safe here with these people and they care about me, and they are beside me, and they support me, he said. After the ceremony. Miss Massar's body was placed in a hearse. On Tuesday afternoon, her father with a nephew and a friend will fly back to Israel for a burial service. Ms. Massar's body was found half-naked near the Polaris shopping center, in Bandara, on Wednesday morning after she was allegedly attacked while walking home the night before. A Palestinian with Israeli citizenship, she had moved to Melbourne on a one-year exchange program to study at La Trobe University. Her father and sister Ruben Massar flew to Melbourne following the attack and both gave emotional statements to the media as they waited for Ms Massar's body to be returned from forensic testing. Miss Massar's cousin Bakker earlier said the family were desperate for her body to be returned to the Middle East so she can be buried. We don't want to get into politics, we want to speed up the process for her. They have finished the body autopsy. Our request is humanitarian, he said. Her uncle Abed Ali Katani said the delay in burying Miss Massar was hard to cope with for the family. When you bury someone you have a relief, so we focus on the body and the burial, he said. Another of Miss Massar's uncles, Dr Ahmed Massar, said it was important she had a funeral soon. In order to respect the dead. You need to bury her, that's how it is in Islam. As long as she is between the sky and the earth, she will not reach heaven, he said. Alleged killer Cody Herman, 20, was arrested on Friday after finding him with a group of friends in a rotunda at a nearby park. He appeared briefly in Melbourne Magistrates Court on Monday. His second appearance since being charged with the alleged attack. Herman made no application for bail at the brief hearing, during which the prosecutor withdrew an application for a compulsory procedure, likely a DNA sample. Prosecutor Jonathan McCarthy requested specific details of the alleged attack on the Palestinian Arab of Israeli citizenship be withheld until police have been able to give them to the 21-year-old's family. 
The informant wishes to have that dealt with in a sensitive manner before it's given to the media, he said. Magistrate Jonathan Clist had approved the move because it would be confronting for the family to be made aware of details through media reports. Herman's lawyer Guillaume Balin did not make any submissions or note any custody management issues. Mr. Clistat, however, noted Herman was Aboriginal and may be vulnerable because of your age and appearance. Herman, who has no fixed address, has not been in custody before. Police have been granted 12 weeks to compile their brief of evidence. Herman's court appearance came as a collection of poorly written lyrics seemingly scribbled on old shopping dockets were discovered tucked under a blanket in a filthy bedroom at his house. I always got your back Jack don't believe me watch me punch on in the city off my chops knock in, sick. The lights out of any heavy by myself, bringing in empty bullets to impress at show and tell, he wrote. The lyrics were found in a squalid bedroom at Grimshaw Street in Bandaura, in Melbourne's northeast, alongside a tube of fungal skin infection cream, smash tiles, a modem and a box cutter. The house itself was strewn with filth and rubbish and stank like animals had been living inside. A fifth page is signed off by McCode as alongside what could be an album title noted as the Buniap. It remains unclear why the crumpled lyrics, found by Daily Mail Australia at Herman's home, were not collected by forensic police who searched the home last week. This is it, I quit swear to God it's time to hip hop away and loose all control again, he raps. Listen don't be trippin' on me mate. Your missus has a taste for beef beef which I hate. Herman appears to address a lost love in the lyrics, rapping how someone helped him forget Alana. See it's usually when you're at your best when you make a mess and like me regret even listening to what they said cause I already know that him next cause my only word of advice is show love and be jeed when the boys show up our noise gonna pop these eardrums. Run and a run, he writes. One sheet of paper appears to outline a proposed gig by Herman, broken down into levels. Song titles include Bunyip's Magic Cigarette, Broken Dreams and Disturbingly Great A Student. The former residents also appear to be fans of country music star Willie Nelson, with discarded CDs found in the lounge. In his dingy rear bedroom, Herman allegedly penned his angry lyrics. You know I did this to myself how the fk could you ever help you the same as everyone else how hard is it to tell I've given this my all, and any hip hop devil or rap god gonna fall if they try to stand in my way, he wrote. Herman raps about drinking a long neck of beer in the middle of the road and being abandoned by his mates. Where the fk did my homies go? Guess the old crew's dead or juice so juiced from the math bra are you dead in the head how the fk do you not regret all those code as you just said, he wrote. Herman penned that he lives on seven cones and later is in too deep with Frosty. Drug aft spittin' bars which leave you starstruck ha ha yeah I know I'm still thinking about Alana bra the FK I'm supposed to do. Need to drop a few tracks as soon as possible, he wrote. I've tried to stay strong and hold my head up high but the only one who could save my life chose right. Now noons by my side incept for Sid and Frosty ITD. 2 grams of meth but FK amp teaming. 
Baby we're already moving them crazy. It's time to Afkin party. Herman signs off declaring to Pop is his only true love. Ill hip hop to the top this biz is the only bitch I love. Herman is due to reappear in court by video link for a committal mention on June 7th.